Welcome to our video, Viewpoints and Analysis. What missiles has North Korea been testing? North Korea has tested a variety of ballistic, cruise and hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic missiles fly at several times the speed of sound and at low altitude, to escape radar detection. I would like to focus on the BBC News report. It ended 2022 by firing three short-range ballistic missiles towards the sea, a few days after flying five drones into South Korea's airspace. In November last year, an intercontinental ballistic missile was tested at a high-angle, short-range trajectory. Launched at a lower trajectory, this same missile could have reached the U.S. mainland. According to the Japanese government, Images from North Korean state media of Kim Jong-un with his daughter at the launch appear to show it was the HWASONG-17 or possibly a modified version of it. Unveiled in October 2020, the missile is believed to have a range of 15,000 kilometers or more, and could potentially carry three or four warheads, rather than only one. Several earlier attempts to launch the HWASONG-17 are thought to have failed, although it may have been used in a test carried out in March 2022. In October last year, North Korea fired another type of missile which flew over Japan, thought to have been the intermediate-range HWASONG-12. This can travel up to 4,500 kilometers putting the U.S. island of Guam in the Pacific within range. North Korea has also been testing the HWASONG-14 ballistic missile with a range of 8,000 kilometers. Although some studies suggest it could travel as far as 10,000 kilometers, making it capable of reaching New York. And there is the HWASONG-15 missile, which is believed to have a range of 13,000 kilometers putting all of the continental U.S. in its sights. The unveiling of the new missiles appeared to be a message to the Biden administration of the North's growing military prowess, say experts. North Korea has been testing missiles with longer and longer ranges, says Joseph Byrne, research fellow at the Royal United Services Institute. It could be the precursor to it testing another nuclear warhead, which has been predicted for some time, he adds. In March 2021, it carried out a launch of what it called a new type tactical guided projectile, which it said was able to carry a payload of 2.5 tons, so capable in theory of carrying a nuclear warhead. Analysts at the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies told Reuters that it appeared to be an improved variant of a previously tested missile, the KN-23. What nuclear weapons does North Korea have? The last time North Korea tested a nuclear bomb was in 2017. The explosion at its Pungai Ri test site had a force, or yield, of between 100 to 370 kilotons. A 100 kiloton bomb is six times more powerful than the one the U.S. dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. North Korea claimed this was its first thermonuclear device, the most powerful of all types of atomic weapon. However, North Korea may now be aiming to test a smaller type of nuclear warhead with similar explosive force, according to Mr. Byrne. It seems they are now testing a new capability, a miniaturized warhead that can be fitted onto a range of missiles, including short-range missiles, he says. Six underground tests have previously been carried out at Pungai Ri. However, in 2018 North Korea said it would shut the site down because it had verified its nuclear capabilities. Some of the tunnels into the site were subsequently blown up in the presence of foreign journalists. However, North Korea did not invite international experts to verify if it had been put beyond use. Satellite images released in March this year suggest work to renovate Pungai Ri had started. Any future nuclear testing at the site would breach resolutions from the United Nations Security Council.
In 2018, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un made a promise to then U.S. President Donald Trump that North Korea would destroy all its nuclear material enrichment facilities. However, the UN's Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, says satellite images suggest that North Korea had restarted the reactor which makes its weapons grade plutonium. In September 2022, IAEA chief Rafael Grossi said there were signs that a nuclear test site was open again. He added, We have observed indications of the operation of facilities and of construction work at the Yongbyon site, as well as activities at other locations. The IAEA has not had physical access to North Korea's nuclear facilities since April 2009. That's all. Thank you for watching.